There is an amazing uh, effort underway to drive down the Biden administration's prospects. The New York Times, uh, CNN, a whole range of places that are normally liberal are now really poking at Biden, poking at Kamala Harris, really driving home the idea that maybe Biden should announce now he's not going to run for re-election, which would frankly make him a lame duck for three years. But I can't remember any time when your own allies, I mean, it's one thing if Democrats say to Donald Trump or Republicans say to Joe Biden, you know, you really ought to, you're not up to it. But when you have your own allies less than a year into your administration telling you that you really need to get out of the way, when you start having lists of people who might be the right replacement, there's something strange going on. And it's almost a feeling that with the collapse of their multi-trillion dollar bill in the Senate and the fact that they're not going to be able to move the Corrupt Politician Act to steal elections that they'd hoped to, that they're leaving town at the end of this year on a really low note and the polls are being to indicate that all this is weighing them down and that the Democrats are going to come back here in January facing the prospect of a disastrous election next year. And with every day, that disaster gets a little closer and the Democrats feel it a little more strongly. So uh, it was a strange time. And when Senator Sinema from Arizona went out of her way to announce that she would oppose trying to change the filibuster rules in the Senate because she thought it was very important to continue to make it difficult to pass controversial legislation just to have stability. That was an amazing blow. Everybody had been paying attention to Senator Manchin of West Virginia. Suddenly, it's Senator Sinema who actually delivers the final blow, killing any effort to pass a uh, political corruption bill in the middle of the election. So I think they're going to go home feeling discouraged and defeated. And I think the world's going to continue to get a little bit worse in inflation, in logistics problems, in crime, in illegal immigrants, where we set a record in November with 173,000 coming across the border. All these things are compounding and I think making it more difficult for the Biden team to put together some kind of program next year. Come <laughs> on.